Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can both get and also use the brand new Messenger Rooms by Facebook. Now first off, what is Messenger Rooms? Well, it's a video conferencing offering by Facebook with a twist. Now it seems like these days, every tech company is offering some type of video conferencing solution. You have Google with Meet, you have Zoom video conferencing, you have Microsoft with Skype and Teams. So why not Facebook? Now Facebook's been in this game for a long time with Messenger where you've been able to call either an individual or multiple people, but it's always been user initiated. They've never before had this concept of rooms. So what you could do with rooms, well there are two different ways you could configure your room. One way is you could schedule a time for your room. So maybe every Friday you have happy hour with your friends, let's say it's 6 p.m. So you send out an invitation for 6 p.m. happy hour and then your friends could come in and join. So pretty similar to the other product offerings out there. What Facebook's also done though, and this really leverages the power of the Facebook network, they've also set it up so you could just set up an open room. So any one of your friends or family members or acquaintances in your Facebook network can simply hop into the room. Uh, so pretty interesting in that, let's say that you know there's not someone who, who you would ordinarily call, but maybe if they were to drop into your room and start chatting with you, it'd be nice to catch up with them. Uh, so that's something really unique about Facebook Rooms that other providers can't offer. Now one of the things I really like about Facebook Rooms is they make it really easy. So anyone with a link, as long as you set the permission this way, can hop into your Messenger Room and join in. There's no installation required. You don't need a Facebook account. So especially when you think of, you know, maybe you have some family members who aren't as computer savvy, Facebook makes it really easy for them to join in the action of being in one of these rooms. And lastly, another thing that Facebook's done very nicely is they're integrating Messenger Rooms into all of their other products. And so think uh, Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger. So all these different places you'll be able to get to Messenger Rooms. Now today, Messenger Rooms is available within Facebook and Messenger, but it's coming out to all these other places soon. All right, well, that's just a quick overview of what Messenger Rooms is. So why don't we, first off, we're gonna jump on the PC and I'll show you how you can both get it and use it there. And then we'll jump on my mobile device and I'll show you the same. All right, well, enough talk, why don't we jump to it? Okay, well, here I am on my PC and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to navigate to facebook.com. So here I am and you could either sign in if you already have an account. If you don't have an account, you could create a new one. I think these days upwards of over a billion people have a Facebook account, so chances are you're already on Facebook. If you're already on Facebook, chances are you'll also automatically sign in. And here I am on my signed in version of Facebook. Now, to get started with a messenger room, what you could do is there are a few different ways we could set up a new room. One of the ways is right here at the top of the page, Facebook is heavily promoting messenger room. So here what I could do is I could simply click to create a room. I also wanna show one other way that you could also create a room. If I click up here into messenger, it is called messenger rooms. What I could do is I could also click on this camera icon with the plus symbol in it and that's another way to create a room. Also, as I go down, there's also the plus symbol here where I could also set up a room. So Facebook is pretty aggressively promoting rooms uh, throughout the Facebook product. Now, so I'm gonna go ahead and why don't we create a new room? And now Facebook asks me a few different questions to set up my room. The first one is, what is the room about? And so right now, it's just kind of a generic Kevin's room, but I'm gonna go ahead and click into this and I could select from all of these preset options for the topic of my messenger room. So we could just be hanging out or maybe I'm just bored at home. What I can also do is if I click on new, I could simply define on my own what this room is about and I could also choose an emoji to go along with it. What I'm gonna do though is happy hour sounds like fun so I'll go ahead and select this. Now what I can do too is I'm able to select who I wanna invite to my room. And so when I click into this, I have two different options. I could either make it an open room so all of my friends on Facebook can simply join the room. And if I select this option, Facebook will promote the room in people's news feeds as a way to draw people into my room. What I can also do though is I could also invite specific people. So maybe I'm not feeling super social and I just wanna engage with a few individuals. I could select this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just invite specific friends. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'll invite my wife to this room. Yes, we do live in the same house, but I will invite her to a messenger room, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick her. Now what I could do too is here you see the option of start time, and by default it's set to now, but what I can also do is I could choose a date and a time when I want people to join, but now sounds like a good idea because I am in the middle of showing off messenger rooms, so we probably wanna meet now, and I'll go ahead and save it. Now all of these settings look great, now what I could do is I could go ahead and create the room. Once the room is created, what I'll see here, once again, I have the option to invite more people if I click there. I could also go ahead and share this link with others. I could also go back and I could edit the event if you know maybe I made some mistakes. Maybe it's not really a happy hour. I could go ahead and change that. And then I could simply end the room if I just wanna cancel this out. Now here I have a link. Right now it's simply set up to my wife, but let's say I wanna invite others via a link. Maybe I wanna text it or email it. I could click on this settings gear and then I have the option to turn on link sharing. So link sharing, when I copy a link, I could send that to others. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And then here if I click on this, this copy link icon, I could go ahead and copy this link to my clipboard where I could then send it to others. So this looks good. I have my wife invited. I could also invite other people with a link. I'm gonna go ahead and join the messenger room now. Here I am, it's telling me that no one else is in this room yet, and I'm gonna go ahead and join as Kevin Stratford. So here the experience is loading, and hey, there I am. You can see me on the webcam over there, and I am now in the messenger rooms. And so a few of the different options I have, you'll see when I move the mouse, it exposes these different controls on the bottom. I wanna quickly walk through what these different controls do, and then I'll invite someone else into this meeting, and we could see what the experience looks like. Now what I could do is I could share my screen. So when I click on share your screen, I have a few different options. I could share my entire desktop, I could share a specific application window that I have open on my machine, or I could, I could share a Chrome browser tab. So a few different things, lots of other video conferencing uh, solutions also offer this, but good to see that Messenger Rooms offers this as well. If I click on see call participants, what I can do here, I have a few different options. I could lock the room if I don't want anyone else to join. So let's say that all the people who I like are already in the room, I could just shut it down and prevent other people from entering. Here I could see who's currently in this room. I'll show in a moment what it looks like when other people join the room. And once again, I could copy this link if I wanna bring more people into the room. I could also click on settings here, and this allows me to remove all members and also basically shut down this room. So let's say the party's getting all out of hand, I could shut things down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, let's close this. What I could do is I could turn video on and off. So here I'm gonna turn it back on. What I could also do with video here, you see this carrot icon. I could throw the video off to the side if I don't wanna see myself, or maybe I'm a little more of a narcissist and I like keeping myself up on the screen. I could pull my video back on. Here I have the mute icon on my microphone. I could mute the microphone off, and then I could also just bring it back on. So I have a few different options there. Now, just some of the other controls that you have on the screen, there aren't that many, but there are a few more. I could click on this settings gear up here. This is where I could configure my camera, my microphone, my speakers. I could also see my audio levels in this dialogue. I also get a preview of my webcam. I could do an audio sound test here, and I also get some helpful shortcut keys. Uh, some of them might be helpful. Probably the most useful of all of them is the ability to toggle mute by pressing Alt-M. Kind of a nice shortcut key, especially if you have a lot of people on the call and you wanna mute your microphone when you're not talking. So a few different options there. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this. And then you also have the option to enter a full screen mode. So you could take up your entire screen and see all those lovely faces within your messenger rooms. Now what I wanna do is I wanna show what the experience looks like if someone else joins the meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute my microphone before I do this. I have another browser window open here and I'm gonna paste in that URL that I copied from before. And this shows how anyone could simply join the meeting, whether or not you have a Facebook account and it requires no download. Uh, so maybe I'll say this is Uncle Bob. So this is Kevin's Uncle Bob. Uh, it gives me a few reminders about no bullying, no harassment. So just making sure that we're all good net citizens. And I'm gonna join as a guest. It prompts me if I wanna use my microphone and my camera, let's do it. 
All right, so I am now in the meeting. So I could see myself on the camera and I could also see Kevin on the camera. It's a little weird because there are two participants, but they're both really me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Kevin's view now. And once again, I could see call participants and I could see myself and I could see Uncle Bob here. What I could do, let's say Uncle Bob is being kind of obnoxious and I don't want him to be on this call. I could boot him out and let's get rid of Bob. Let's kick him out and I could click on remove. It'll ask me to confirm that I wanna remove him. When I remove him, it also automatically locks the room so Uncle Bob can't simply just hop right back on. Uh, so I'll go ahead and remove him. So one of the things I could do, let's say I booted Uncle Bob and now I wanna check on the room. So here you'll see that the room is locked as soon as I kick anyone out. But let's say I wanna bring people back in, I could go ahead and unlock the room. Now I wanna show you how Messenger Rooms works on your phone. And today I happen to have an iPhone, but even if you're using an Android phone, you'll be able to follow along because the Messenger Rooms experience is very similar. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna get Messenger Rooms. And on an iPhone, I'm gonna to go to the App Store. If you're on an Android phone, go to the Play Store. And what we can do is search for Messenger. I've already done that. And Messenger should show up as the first result. Now, if you don't have Messenger yet, you could click on Install. In this case, I already have Messenger. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Open. And now this will land me in the Messenger app. Now within Messenger, the default view that I land in is the chat view. Uh, to get to Messenger Rooms, what you wanna do is on the bottom, you wanna click on the People Pivot. And then once I'm in the People Pivot, you'll see at the very top of the experience, there's an option to create a room. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's click on Create a Room. So what I can do within here, I can, I can define who can join. So anyone with a link, or I need to know the person from Facebook for them to be able to join. Uh, and then once I do that, what I can do is I could simply go ahead and then share the link. So I'm gonna click on there and that brings up, in this case, the iOS share control where I could choose people to share it with. I could email it, I could text message it. Uh, similarly, on an Android device, you'll also get the Android share control and then you can invite other people to your room. Uh, to have fun in a room, you need other people to be there. So you'll have to share it with some others. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna email it to my uncle Bob and then we'll have him hop in the room. As soon as someone enters your room, Face Messenger Rooms will drop you in the experience. And I'm just gonna walk through quickly what some of the capabilities are within this view. Now, some of the things that I can do, uh, first off, we're gonna start in the top left-hand corner. There's a down carrot. What I could do is I can minimize uh, the chat and I could go back into uh, Messenger. So let's say I wanna continue chatting uh, or carry on some conversations, I could do that. Uh, I'm gonna click on the red bar on top and that'll return me to the call. Uh, some of the other things that I could do, we're gonna go to the bottom left-hand side. I could turn my speaker on, I could turn my speaker off. I could also click on the people icon and what that'll do is that'll bring up controls for this messenger room. Some of the things I could do is I could lock, I could unlock the room just like on the PC. I could share the link with additional people. I could also end the session for everyone. And then down below, I see that I'm in the room. I also see Uncle Bob is in the room. I could go ahead and remove Uncle Bob uh, if that's what I wanna do. So just like on the PC, I have similar controls. I'm gonna go ahead and exit that. I could toggle my microphone on and off with this icon down below. Uh, and then I could also hang up the call using the button in the bottom right. Now I also wanna show some of the fun capabilities within Messenger Rooms. I'm gonna to toggle my video on. And if I click on the little emoji underneath my image here, uh, what that will do is that'll allow me to apply different effects. So here I could apply a little flamingo effect or a fun little face. So as you're in a messenger room, hey guys, uh, what I could do is I could, I could just throw these different effects on. So kind of cool. I could also set different backgrounds. What's nice is it's not just a static background. As I turn, the background will turn with me. So I'll keep that one, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then I could also apply different lighting on me. So let's say I wanna be a little warmer, maybe I wanna be a little colder. Um, I could choose uh, what I wanna do. Uh, and then if I go back to the main view, on the bottom left-hand corner, I could then take a photo and that one looks good. 
Um, and this is the core mobile view within uh, Messenger Rooms. All right, well, that was a quick overview of Messenger Rooms. If you now know how to use Messenger Rooms and you know how to use the product, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, if you have any other ideas that you wanna see me touch on, uh, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks a lot and hope to see you next time. Bye.